These are fake, right? So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about John Wick. John Wick is great. John Wick is really, really great. I have been obsessed with this for like the past few weeks, maybe, because since seeing John Wick 2, I'm just mesmerized by everything about these two movies. Because here's the story, me and Xander, and go see John Wick 2. I have not seen John Wick at all because in my mind, John Wick clearly survived the first movie. So why do I need to see the first one to see the second one? Then I watched John Wick 2 and I had to see the first one because it was just so freaking good. And I'll be honest, when I initially heard about John Wick coming out back in 2014, I just thought, oh, okay, so it's an action movie with Keanu Reeves. Yeah, I, that's not really, that doesn't exactly like draw people in, you know? It's not one of those things that you like say and you're like, hey, you wanna go see the new Keanu Reeves movie? It's just, it just doesn't roll off the tongue very well. And even the people who made this movie didn't really predict it. They had predicted like low outcome for the first weekend. And I assume they just kind of predicted it was going to be something that would fund Keanu Reeves like house or whatever bill he was paying off at the time. But good God, this movie exploded. I am not kidding you. Once it came out, it was nonstop. Have you seen John Wick? Have you seen John Wick? John Wick was awesome. John Wick was so freaking cool and I just couldn't avoid it. Everybody was saying this movie was so good and I didn't care. It just didn't jump out at me. But when I finally saw it, it blew my freaking mind. Not only that, but this movie is good. Like actually good in ways that I can vehemently defend, which is the point of this video. Let's start out with something really simple. And you're gonna scoff at me and be in disbelief when I say it, but hang on here for just a little bit. Keanu Reeves acting is good. Now don't go away yet. I know how that sounds. You might be wondering if I need to be locked up in the asylum, but I promise you, I'm being honest. His acting is actually really, really damn good in this. I know we rail on him and make a joke of his career by pulling up. <gasps> but honest to God, he actually does a really good job in this movie. Don't get me wrong. A lot of his performance is very much stone-faced and stoic, which is kind of how his character rolls. But the few times where he does break that facade, and like show emotion, it is so powerful. I'm thinking of these two scenes right here. This scene right here is in reaction to reading the last letter he'll ever see from his dead wife because she left in the will that he have a dog. This scene is when he's being captured by the head of a crime family in New York. And after said dog is killed, he goes on a rampage and he is telling that man's father that he is going to kill him because he took away the last thing he ever could love. Both of these scenes are powerful as hell, and it is so amazing to watch. You could feel the freaking emotion just pouring out of him, and it's like, Oh my god, Keanu can act! And there's like nowhere to go but up. And there's little things about his character that, that makes you question the guy, and I'll come back to that later. For now, let's talk about the action, because it is so freaking good. I know I'm saying that a lot, but it really, it just holds up for these movies so well. Let's compare a gunfight to a more famous movie than this one, and then compare to John Wick. noticing a bit of a difference. Whereas in the first one, we got a lot of camera angles and a bunch of shoot, 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 return fire, cover. All of it's kind of disjointed and chaotic. John Wick's approach is way more freaking calm and collected. It's very clear, it's very precise. You see everything happening and there's a lot of attention drawn to just how he's fighting hand to hand and how he's shooting. Not only that, but how many action movies have we seen where somebody's firing a pistol that you know only holds like eight bullets and it, it just keeps on firing forever. Guess what, moviegoers? 
This thing holds eight bullets when it's actually not an airsoft gun. Maybe this annoys me a bit more than most people, but I cannot stand seeing so many movies where it's like, hey, that 30 round magazine is on its 200th round. This is fine. But then John Wick comes in and subverts all of that. All throughout the movie, we see him taking time to reload magazines, actually like reloading in the middle of fights when he has downtime to do it. And he's taking care to make every bullet count. You'll notice he goes for a lot of headshots and he usually gets them all because he wants them to be sure they stay down and he's not wasting any ammo. It is so amazing. Not only that, but just as a quick side note, in the first John Wick, he kills probably about, mm, I believe the last count was like 72 people in one movie. John Wick 2 takes place, I think about three days later, he kills 128. Every shot that he takes is a crazy kill shot. Pinpoint accuracy, fast, precise, just nailing every freaking shot like crazy. There's this scene in John Wick 2 where he's like, in these catacombs or something in Rome and he takes on like I swear 60 people using his handguns a shotgun and a carbine like all within like a good 10 minutes and he freaking just annihilates them while taking damage mind you and the reason so many of these scenes are like this is because the people who directed it were stunt directors and stunt men if I remember correctly the director was actually Keanu Reeves's stunt double in the matrix so this is like an all-in-the-family kind of thing going on. And I think the final big thing about this movie that makes it so good is the building of the world and the characters. Take a look at this still. You see that tattoo on John's back? That isn't just some ominous Latin phrase and something to make him look really freaking cool while he's showering and looking all menacing. That is the motto of, I believe, the Marine Corps 3rd Battalion. So if you're in the know of what that is, you already know what this character's about without him having to say a word. Not only that, but when you're watching this, you notice some of the little interactions he has and how people react to him. And when they're not trying to kill him, it's generally out of respect and, you know, caring like, Hey John, how you doing? You working again? That kind of thing. And he's friendly with everybody else, so you can kind of infer what he's like outside of being a hitman. And not only that, but the Continental, the hotel that Winston runs, it has its own rules, there's its own currency, its own form of membership, how would they operate. And like, the Continental is a completely neutral ground from like, every other crime thing. If you go there, you fight on that ground, you are dead. Not because you like, get killed by whoever you kill, probably, but because Winston or whoever owns the Continental in the other parts of the world will make sure that your membership is revoked and you in John Wick 2 after finishing his part of the deal that he made with I believe his name was Santino he gets betrayed and Santino puts a hit on John Wick for like seven million dollars and every hitman in New York is trying to kill him so what does he do he flips a gold coin the currency of assassins in this world to a homeless guy and he just hides out underneath this homeless guy's like plastic bags and the garbage. And when two assassins are coming to try and find Wick's last known position, they go up to this homeless guy and he's like, hey, bang, bang, kills them both, takes him to Morpheus, I mean, Lawrence Fishburne. And we find out there's like a whole network of homeless people or homeless acting people who work for him. I assume they communicate by carrier pigeon because that's what the Bowery King, Lawrence Fishburne, is messing with and not only that but you notice other little things like that like how every other assassin uses like one of those little mo cheap motorola burner phones that you only get if your iphone's in the shop and nobody else uses smartphones there are so many little details packed into this movie you can make a franchise out of this world alone not necessarily just john wick but the world of john wick and it would be i guarantee you amazing these movies are great 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 you need to watch them. If you love good action movies, if you love really good cinematography, and even some good music here and there, there's some pretty freaking sweet songs, honestly, then you need to watch these two movies and other movies that come after it. They're all good, you need it. This movie was like a major sleeper hit back in 2014 when it came out, and for good reason. Because like I said, expectations were pretty low. It's just a Keanu Reeves movie where he kills a lot of people. But when you watch it, it's a Keanu Reeves movie where he kills a lot of people, but he does it really, really awesome. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Danny Weeman. Have a good day.